This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. Union Minister of State for Social Justice and Empowerment, Ramdas Athwale, said that the development of mountainous state like Arunachal Pradesh should be given priority and the central government, under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, is leaving no stone unturned to do so. Addressing people at Nyokum festival celebration at Doimuk in Papumbare district in Arunachal Pradesh, he said the government is working hard to safeguard the rights of the people in Northeast. He said that the Prime Minister has instructed every union minister to visit Northeast in regular intervals and take stock of their respective ministries, welfare schemes implemented in the region so that more people are benefited. In Assam, target has been set by National Health Mission to give Japanese encephalitis vaccine to over 17 lakh people at Gwalpara, Kokrajhar and South Salmara Mankachar districts. Participating in an All India Radio talk show, State Program Officer of National Health Mission, Assam, Dr. C. R. Pathak, said that 4.7 lakh adult population have already been vaccinated at Gwalpara district, while the vaccination drive in two other districts to start soon. 161 deaths due to Japanese encephalitis have been reported in Assam last year. A joint team of the Indian Army and the Assam Police busted a recruitment racket of the banned Alpha 1 militants in Tinsukia district and arrested four cadres along with arms. The team also rescued four minor recruits from the captivity of the Alpha 1, an Indian Army official said. This was the biggest recruitment racket of recent times of Alpha 1. Acting on reliable input received from a source, the operation was launched resulting in the apprehension of two cadres, the official said. These two persons were carrying out nefarious activities of the Alpha 1 and were recruiting youths in their respective areas, the official informed. Two 7.65mm pistols, one 0.22mm pistol, a number of live bullets, three Alpha 1 flags and a pair of jungle shoes were seized from their possession. Ahead of the upcoming Langrin by-election to the East Khasi Hills Autonomous District Council to be held on the 28th of this month, Meghalaya Southwest Khasi Hills Deputy Commissioner Isa Wandalalu has issued an order restricting all kinds of corrupt practices as well as holding public meetings during the period of 48 hours ending with the hour fixed for the close of the poll. The Deputy Commissioner also said, on the polling day the political parties and candidates shall strictly comply with the instructions given which include cooperation with the officers on election duty to ensure peaceful and orderly polling and complete freedom to the voters to exercise their franchise without being subjected to any annoyance or obstructions. This order will extend throughout the Langren District Council constituency and it will come into four with immediate effect. In order to impart technical skills to the farmers and promote food processing industry in the region, a one-day food tech conclave and outreach program on agricultural export from northeast was held at Dakupu Gre Tura, the district headquarters of West Garo Hills in Meghale. Speaking on the occasion, Deputy Commissioner West Garo Hills Ram Singh stated that the northeast region and Garo Hills in particular has abundant raw materials including various agricultural products but due to absence of manufacturing units in the region, it has become a supplier of raw materials to other states, including the neighboring countries. He further stated that with rapid expansion of road connectivity even in rural areas, he said that Garo Hills will become a dumping ground of finished products in future and therefore people should establish manufacturing units in the region and promote economy through entrepreneurship. Tripura Chief Minister Biplok Kumar Deb will inaugurate the first international conference on business management today at Tripura University. This is the first time the Department of Business Management, Tripura University, is organizing the three-day international conference. The motto titled Industrial Development in the Northeast Region, Challenges and Opportunities is being sponsored by Northeastern Council, Ministry of Dona, Government of India. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.